I just need to wrestle him down to to sign it. Yes, got it. Don't you go anywhere, you naughty. You're naughty. I know it may seem that I am now sponsored by Starbucks by the amount of coffee I have while caching, but I assure you, I just need the fuel. The caffeine is flowing, my geo senses are extra sensitive. Let's find something. Oh man, today is an unseasonably warm December day. We got a wide open field. There's a cache over there. Today, we're following favorite points. I'm inside of a pine tree by a very loud, very loud highway. Look, I found something special. It's a geocache. See, GC, something, something. Boom, I got it. All right, I got the padlock off, but you guys, this is like, it's not even opening. This geocache is welded shut, probably on purpose. I gotta figure out another method. After messing with it for a bit, never mind. I'm just a dummy. It does actually open. It opens. Oh my gosh! What is this? All right, we got a little wood block and a string. String that goes up. The, the string just caused me to look up, but when I looked up, you should check out what's on the top. There's an antenna up there. There is an antenna. That is funny. There's also a hole down here. So the question is, is the geocache down there or is the geocache up there? All right, I'm struggling to figure this out. It's like a kite, but I'm really confused on how, how and where to use this. There also is a little washer bolt here on the end. I investigated the string here a little closer. It comes off the little hook. Sometimes, friends, you just gotta look a little bit closer. Now I'm feeding the string into the pipe and something is happening above me. Come on down. <laughs> Here it comes. Here it comes, guys. Yes! Yes! Oh, that was cool. That was so cool. I've never seen execution of a cache quite like this before. That was so fantastic. I just noticed as I took the lid off, it was just like, it was like going back. It was going up, don't go away. <laughs> it was going up back up by itself. Stay there, geocache. Signed it. Time for the little piece of the satellite to go back up into the satellite. Bye, geocache. Bye, thanks for the memories. This next one places me in the woods and I'm right on ground zero. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing a rope. A rope that's not attached to anything. Wait one second. You ready? Ah! It's a giant grasshopper. If you look, he's eating one geocache and then the other one's hanging. <laughs> Found it! I just need to wrestle him down to, to sign it. Yes, got it. Don't you go anywhere, you naughty. You're naughty. You're not getting away, buddy. I'm giving it back to you. Time to go back to your home. That was actually harder than I thought it would be. Chalk it up to geocaching to bring me to another place that I've never been to before. Right in my old backyard, look, I found new access to the Mississippi River. M I double S I double S I P P I. To be honest, it's a little stinky down here. It smells like fish, it smells like industry. It also smells like a cache getting closer. The geosenses, they're working. All right, I'm at ground zero. It brought me to the corner of this fence. I'm noticing some bricks on the bottom. That's something we might need to investigate. I'm also noticing the top is open. That might be another thing we need to investigate. Anything special with you today? Normal brick. Brick number two, nothing. I'm gonna reach my, reach my hands in here 
Everything in there feels normal. We also have some like ancient calligraphy here. If we have a time gone by, could that possibly mean something? It looks like I need to put water in there. It says there might be something by the shore that I need to fill up the pipe to retrieve the cash. So let's, let's go down there. I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared for this cash. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> I found something! This has been sitting here for a while. I might have just got lucky. There is like a lot of garbage here by the river. There's some major swag. Oh my gosh, a Vikings hat? That might just need to go through the washer. I might come back later and like seat this bad boy. Moment of truth, we'll see if I got enough water. We can get the cash. Yes! Oh. Of course there was a hole, but I was just able to get my fingers in there and grab it. And logbook, dry as a bone. All right, this bad boy probably won't be found till next spring. Now that I've touched the grimy Mississippi multiple times, it's time to bathe in a little hand santy. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. <laughs> at the final cash of the evening because it's December and it gets dark like at four. It brings me to another pipe. There, we got a nice little pipe. It looks like this comes off. And then the bottom, we have a little, a little like, ooh, spring-loaded plunger. This comes off. Da, 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 da. And this gets pulled. <laughs> I caught it. Let's watch that again, shall we? Got it! Yes! <laughs> yes! What an amazing series of caches. Thank you so much to the owner for hiding some amazing things, giving me a super fun afternoon. And now, don't stop watching videos. Seriously, don't. We got more over here. Click over there, and I'll meet you over the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>